Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the working of LED and how the current can be limited by connecting resistors in series to it. So in order to open the project, in order to open the schematic project, we have to click on file, go to the new project and name this project, give any name and the extension will be .pdsprj which is a Proteus project file. It is a program used to design and test PCBs or it is used to dump the design onto the PCB. Click on next. It will ask if you want to replace the already existing project. Click on yes. These are the standard settings. Just click on next and then click on finish. This is where you're going to connect all the components. This is called as a schematic capture. In order to pick the devices, click on this P. Our project is to demonstrate the working of LED and to see how the current can be limited by connecting resistors in series. So we need LED, so type LED. We'll find lot of LEDs here. Depending on their properties and parameters, we can choose any of these LEDs available. So for this demonstration, I will be taking a very uh, standard LED, uh, animated LED model of uh, color purple. Place it over here. Let us zoom this. We can always zoom. The schematic is zoomed here so that the components are clearly visible. Now we need a resistor. So type RES and you will find the very standard analog primitive resistor available here. Just click on OK and place it over here. Connect one end of the resistor to the LED. And then pick a DC source which is available in this generator mode in the left pa panel. Click on this, choose this DC source and connect the other end of the resistor to this source. Now in order to change the properties of any components, we can keep the cursor on that particular component and right click to get this option of edit properties. Go here and then make the changes. Let us give the voltage as 10 and click on OK. Now this circuit is incomplete. In order to complete this circuit, we can connect a ground to this LED and we get ground by right clicking here in the option place, go to terminal and then choose ground and connect this ground to other end of the LED. Now let us simulate this project by clicking on play button which will run the simulation. Now you can see that the LED is glowing here. That is, we have connected the source to the resistor and the resistor end is connected to the LED. If you want to glow or blink the LED on and off, you can stop the simulation. Right click on this source, go to edit properties and choose the type as pulse. The initial low voltage is 0 and let us give the high voltage as 10 and let the frequency be 2 Hertz so that uh, 1 by F will be 0.5 at every 0.5 uh, second the LED will be on and off so click on OK and now click the play button you'll be able to see the LED is blinking on and off this is the first part of our project to see how the LED is working in Proteus software. Now the next part is to observe the amount of current that is flowing through this LED by connecting an ammeter. So let us stop the simulation. Go to this instruments mode and pick DC ammeter. Connect this ammeter in series with the LED. Let us delete this. 
for visualization purpose let us rotate this ammeter in the clockwise direction connect one end to the uh, LED and connect the ground to the other end of the ammeter let us see how much current is flowing now let us decrease this value let us give this as 100 ohms We can change this LED as analog and we can also change this type to milliampere because the current that will be flowing here will be very small that is uh, 0.1 amperes because 100 divided by 10 sorry 10 divided by 100 so now if we click on this we'll be able to see the current flow Let us change this back to MPS. The current that is flowing through this LED is 0 0.07 which is approximately equal to 0 0.1 amps which will verify the Ohm's law that is I is equal to V by R. The input voltage is 10 volts here and the resistance value is 100 ohms so this is the way by which we can observe the LED on and off and check how much current is flowing through that we can also animate this uh, to see the direction of current flow by going to systems and clicking on set simulation options go to set animation options and click on these two options select these two options show wire voltage by color and show wire currents with arrows click on ok once again run this now you'll be able to see the current that is flowing through this wire and you'll also be able to observe the current that is flowing through this LED